Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started talking about divisibility rules, one of my favorite things in the whole world. So uh, basically, uh, some fun ways to realize or to figure out if a number can go into another number evenly. Now, we're really talking about single digits here. So, and some of these guys are complex, and some of them are pretty simple in nature. So let's take a, pro a look at problem number one, and I think we can cover everything I want to talk about. Just, excuse me, problem number two. And I think we can cover everything I want to talk about just by taking a look at this problem. So we have 424,380. Now, we want to find out if uh, 2 is a factor of that particular number. And according to the rule for 2, what we want to deal with is, is it an e odd or an even number? And we will, we're looking for even numbers. So every even number is, is evenly divisible by 2. So we're going to circle 2 here, okay, because this ends in a 0. And since the number ends in a zero, it's an even number, and so it does have a factor of two. Okay? I'm going to skip over three for a second. I'm going to go over to four. Now for four, so I'm going to skip over three for a second. We're going to go over to four. Now for four, what's interesting about this rule is all you have to do is look at the last two digits of the number. Okay? So the number 80. Now is four a factor of 80? If so, then the entire number is, which is kind of cool. So if is 4 a factor of 80? And sure enough, you're right, this goes twice, it goes 20 times. So all you have to do is the, uh, take a look at the last two digits. So the last two digits. Okay, so if uh, 4 is a factor of 80, therefore 4 is a factor of 424, 380. Okay, cruising along. 5 is a fun one. Pretty simple in nature. All you have to do is take a look at that last digit, and if it ends in a 0 or a 5, then it has 5 as a factor. Okay, and since this ends in a 0, uh, it does have 5 as a factor. So that's that guy. And then we get to 8. It's a little bit interesting. 8, we're going to look at the uh, last three digits, okay, that make up the number. Uh, for 4 is the last two digits, 8 is the last three digits. Kind of complicated, but basically I want to take a look at just 380. So it doesn't matter what the number is, I want to look at 380. Now you might have to do a little bit of dividing on the side here, but it's, I guess that's still better than dividing the entire number. So here you go, here you go. 8 goes into 38. What, 6 times? What, 4 times? Let's go with 4 for 32. I get a 6. I bring that down, I get a 60. So 8 does not go into 60. So since 8 is not a factor of 380, it is not a factor of the entire number. Okay, so we're not going to circle 8. Now, let's see. So 5, we oh, forgot to answer the question. So we had the 5, that worked. It did work for 4. And 8, we're not going to circle. I'm going to put a line through that one just so I know I took care of it. Let me get rid of that guy. Which leads, oh, let's go to 10. Let's do 10. Now for 10... Leave 9 for a second. Let's go for 10. For 10, it just has to end in a 0. Okay, that last digit ends in a 0, and since it does, the entire number uh, is evenly divisible by 10. So that leaves 3 and 9. Now, these are a bit fun. I like these guys. Now, the rule for these guys, and I proved it in class. I wasn't going to go crazy proving it on the video. But essentially what you want to do here, you want to take the number, and you want to expand it out a bit, and you want to add up all of the digits. So there's a 4, second digit's a 2, the third digit's a 4, and then we have a 3, and we have an 8, and we have a 0. So there it is, right? 4, 2, 4, 3, 8, 0. There they are. And essentially what we want to do, we, we, we want, want to find the sum of those digits, which is sort of strange, but that's what we want to do. So the 4 and the 2 gives me 6, 6 and a 4 gives me 10, a 10 and a 3 gives me 13, and a 13 plus 8 gives me 21, and a uh, plus 0 still gives me 21. So the sum equals 21. I'm just going to double check that. So these guys, 8 and 3, let me do those guys first. That gives me 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, so I have my 21. Does 3 go into 21? If 3 is a factor of 21, then it is going to be a factor of the entire number, which is kind of cool. So, And that's how it works. So is 3 a factor of 21? If so, it is a factor of the entire thing. And it is a factor of 21. So I'm going to circle 3. Now for 9, you're just using 9 instead. So is 9 a factor of 21? The answer is no. 9 is not a factor of 21. So it does work for 3, but it doesn't work for 9 because we're going to have something left over. Okay, so 9 I'm not going to circle. 
but that's the rule for it. You just add up the you add up the digits, you find the sum of the digits, and if three is a factor of that particular sum, then the entire number has a factor of three. And we'll do the same thing with nine. But just make sure you're using three and you're using nine. Okay? But that's the deal, folks. Okay, so uh, actually, you know what? Might as well just work this one here. So let's just do, we'll just do the three and the nine. So I have a three, a two, a six, a four, and a three. Now, if I was to find a sum, let's look for tens first. So there's a 10, there's a 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So for this guy, I have a sum of 18. Now, this is kind of cool because it does have a factor of three and it has a factor of nine. So 9 is a factor of uh, 32,643, and so is 3. Okay, so they both work. So uh, that's the deal. Okay, that's it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.